and guess what? So these we have already discussed on IoT, 5G, drone, smart homes, smart cars. Checking into account of all these technologies, today we are going to discuss about edge computing as well as MEC, that is multi-axis edge computing. So get on to the edge of your seat and focus here. I believe we all are familiar with the cloud computing like Gmail, Google Drive, etc. To give you some examples. However, with advancing technology, various information and things are being connected to the network. And I expect that will uh, uh, make people's life convenient as IoT will coordinate and process information with AI. So, more values will be created uh, through IT developers like us. To say, while cloud has become an indispensable part of uh, data process, however, that the cloud has been certainly deployed on a global scale needs to be processed enormous amounts of data. You see, huge variety and incomplete data generated by IoT need to be processed and responded in the shortest possible time as increasingly devices accessing cloud services which is Internet of Things uh, data for uh, analysis online. In addition, as the physical distance between the user and the cloud increases, it results in a transmission uh, latency increment. So, as this uh, increases the uh, response time and stressing user. Nevertheless, the uh, processing speed in this environment is dependent on performance of the user's device. To explain this with an example, connecting cameras with the other sensors to the internet facilitates the creation of a smart home, smart cars, etc. However, transmitting an increased volume of data for remote centralized processing may become problematic. Not the least, transmitting video from online camera to a cloud-based vision recognition services can overload the available network, uh, network capacity and in turn may result in slow response time. So to solve these kind of problems, test edge computing. Edge computing is what? Hmm, sounds like computing that takes place off edge of networks. That is internet of things like our phones, laptops, tabs, sensors, etc. Access the network here. Just note there are three kind of uh, players in edge computing. One, cloud data center. Two, edge gateway server. And three, edge clients which are smart devices installed in all these systems while recording all the different kind of data which is uh, being generated by these different devices. And then in turn processes the data. This sort of intelligence built in within and uh, has some storage capacity also. The initial data gets processed here and then for higher workload it sends to nearby closest located physical server. We need to know that drivers of the edge computing are huge data, IoT, 5G, fast processing, intelligence in hand, low latency and of course security and privacy. You see as IoT and other technologies are advancing, the nature of the network performed by IoT devices are demanding the need for much faster connection between the data center or cloud and the smart devices. For example, a driverless car with its sensor data and data processing and real-time decision making by AI software. Now with the technologies like edge computing and MEC technique, with processing power plays to local to the end device, latency is less and down trip time is also reduced uh, that will potentially save downtime. You must be wondering now, what is MEC? It is an abbreviation of multi-axis edge computing. We will talk about it in a while, but before that, as a technocrat, let me guide it to you that uh, even with the introduction of edge devices that provide computing storage, there will still be a need to connect a data center that are on premises or in the cloud. This is because edge devices can collect, sort, perform uh, uh, pre elementary analysis of the data, but then it has to send it along some uh, uh, centralized applications or some form of a long term storage either on prem or cloud. Now, let us discuss what is MEC, a multi access edge computing. You see, what we understood so far, uh, that edge computing is about uh, being the uh, complete capacity closer to the where the data is created, reduces response time and decreases load on backend servers. 
and we see is the next logical step in the telco cloud. It uh, brings a compute capacity directly to the network edge, literally on some infrastructure as the network itself. This technique is ideal in mobility, such as uh, use cases of uh, heavy videos uh, kind of applications, while it's capturing a crowd. Best feature of MEC is that uh, it's not location fixed and could be anywhere, and so we installed them on the network itself. Coming to the edge computing, if we are to know its upside, it's certainly giving faster response time for applications that require it. While the downside can be security, valuable data are being collected uh, uh, and uh, analyzed uh, at edge. Further, the network that if uh, exploiters could compromise other devices that contain stores of valuable assets. With edge computing becoming more essential, it is important to make sure that edge devices themselves don't become single point of failure. And so developers like us will need to think how to build in redundancy and provide failure over contingency in order to avoid crippling downtime if the primary node goes down. To conclude on a positive note, that is, our industry has already gone a long way towards addressing the demand of edge computing and its importance is likely to grow year after year as the use of real-time applications become more prevalent. I hope this discussion was insightful and thanks for your likes and subscribe to this channel from in the edge of your seat and bye for now.